Uh, underground photos can be difficult to manage for a number of different reasons, and one of our customers, Rudolph and Sletten, has been doing a great job on their San Diego project of managing photos on different plans that have to do with different scope. So what they've done is set up a bunch of different site plans. So they've got their main site plan, their electrical site plan, their foundation plan, their grading plan, their mechanical plan, their site plumbing plan, their site utility plan, and then a stormwater prevention plan. And what this allows them to do is organize photos uh, based on each plan. So their electrical underground photos are all managed on their electrical site plan. So if we take a look at what's going on with their, this has to do with their telecom um, rough in. Uh, you can see clicking on this and hovering over it you can uh, see some underground conduit there that's being installed. Uh, then if you click on the time-lapse point here, this is going to show conduit coming from the street, uh, running underground, and then stepping up into the building. And then this stuff all gets run overhead. So they've uh, set up a point here, and they've just tagged all the photos assigned to this kind of scope of work uh, to this point. So. If you ever need to check back on um, how this was installed, you can just uh, get a quick update using this viewer. So this is a good vantage point of this uh, conduit at the street level stubbing up into the building. And uh, then if you jump over to a different plan, let's check out their stormwater prevention plan. Same type of thing, you've got couple steep hills here and uh, you've got photos tagged to those locations where they were taken from. So if you ever need to um, jump back and look at how something was uh, was built or this example of how the stormwater protect, uh, protection uh, was in place, you can uh, quickly look at that. So they've done a great job and um, this should just give you a better idea of how you can manage uh, photos, uh, specifically underground photos, using Jobsite Visitor.